We come to you live on EA Sports, and it's a Windy City special in the booth. I'm Ed Cohen with the former Chicago Bull. It's Jay Williams. And Ed, both squads are getting up last-minute shots. As a player, you never leave the court on a missed shot. A mixed shot always sets the right tone before the game. All the work that's gone into this game about to be on full display here tonight. All right, here we go. Westbrook to Harden. Okay, come left, 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 left. James Harden, good start. He's made his first shot. The way he gets to the line, you have to respect every part of his game. He is an occupational hazard for referees. He's the MVP of drawing fouls. He constantly baits the defender, which makes the defender's hands drop, which allows James Harden to drop buckets on you. Westbrook with it. Two-point advantage. Whoa! Get that out of here! Message sent, Jay. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Aldridge with the interception. Great defensive play. In the front court comes Simmons. He'll run the offense. Rises for the slam. Whoa, he got up there. Just showing you that 40-inch vertical. Russ at the controls. Over to the right side. Harden to Westbrook. Here comes the screen. Shot clock winding down to Westbrook. Durant. Oh, that's how it's done. Kevin Durant, dynamic once again. And giving it to you any way you want it. On the block, from the perimeter, mouse in the house, whatever the scenario is, Kevin Durant has an answer. On your right. Leonard to Simmons. Down to five. Down to four to shoot. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. That was a tough shot. The guy was in your pocket. He even contested the shot. Everything was going according to plan I'm until here, then. Westbrook ball. to Harden. Here comes the screen. To Davis. Perfect feed to set up the basket. Inside or outside? Can any seven-footer in the NBA match this guy's versatility? Not yet. Not yet, but Chris Stapps Perzingis is very, very close. To Adetokounmpo. Giannis! Adetokounmpo missed his first. That one goes. Giannis reminds me of Kevin Durant, and obviously their relationship has evolved even to the point where publicly KD gave him advice, and that was to play for himself. You think about the similarities, KD playing at OKC before he left for a bigger market in Golden State could be similar to the fate that of Giannis. But Giannis is a guy born of Nigerian parents, from Greece, loves small market towns, has a crack in his cell phone, likes to push a shopping cart down the aisle like anybody else. But it doesn't matter because the lights can shine bright for go. whatever Giannis go. decides to play. Westbrook to Davis. Harden. They'll get it down to Davis. Oh! oh out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. Runner here won't go. And physicality is your friend. Don't let these guys get any easy here ones down low. Here we go. Make them look at the refs, wondering where the foul was every time. To Durant. Aldridge to Westbrook. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. And Russell Westbrook, he can turn a game in an instant. Hits the three on the quick release. Jay, if you're Russell Westbrook, how do you take on the responsibility of getting them over the hump? You have to right, own it, right, right. And that starts with owning the fact that, no, yes, you were the first play. Oh, oh, he just blocked that shot out of bounds. Jay, they're lucky they get the ball back. Leonard. Simmons to Leonard. Hey, shut up, shut up, shut up. Deep 
two there won't go. And a lot of times in this league, teams take days off. But this defense keeps maintaining that style of pace defensively. This is going to be a dog fight. And he's found. Nice move that time. And he's going to the line for two. Hey, look, sometimes you need to feel out your opponent. Let him know you're there. I'm okay with that early foul. Russell Westbrook at the line. them both Giannis with it up top 12 to 6 our score Simmons to Oladipo Simmons to Embiid now ready for a couple of free throws trust me you want to avoid early foul trouble Take that one as a warning. Team foul number one, number 21. Shooting two. Knocks down the first. Goes two for two. There it is. How far bad shot. Harden in possession. They're scored 12 to 8. Westbrook to Harden. Durant to Westbrook. Back door, back door, Five on the shot clock. Cut it, cut it, cut it. It's Westbrook. Shot, that's short, that's short. Shot's no good. You have to like the confidence, but that was a difficult shot. It's so important to instill confidence in your best player. I know he missed a shot earlier, but that doesn't mean that you can't run the same exact play and let him prove he's a player he thinks he is and we all know he is. Westbrook to Durant. Big pick right there. Has a look. Ah, Kevin Durant, two for two. That's what you want. What more does this guy have to prove? He has everything to prove because he's not trying to prove it to you behind the screen, watching this game, playing this game. He's trying to prove it to himself, Kevin Durant, every day that he is the greatest to ever put on an NBA uniform. Gets it to go. The percentage lied with the defense. The shooter strikes that time. KD with the rock. There's a reason they call him the Greek Freak. With his ball skills, pretty good. With his height, 6'11". His athleticism, 40-inch vertical plus. And he's most dangerous in transition, which is probably the reason why he had an MVP caliber year with career up, highs in points, rebounds, and field goal percentage. To Leonard. Emphatic slam. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. Harden creates the space to bury the three on the step back. The challenge defending a guy who can be a one or a two. We're not old men talking about this game. We don't define players by positions anymore. Is he a one or is he a two? No, he's James Harden. He is a scorer and an elite passer. Changes coming from both sides right now. Lowry. And that one is out. Russell Westbrook with the rock. To Aldridge. 
Here comes the oh, screen. The screen right, screen right, screen right. Surveys the floor. James to Westbrook. Five seconds to shoot. DeRozan. Porzingis with the rebound. Leonard A ball here. to Lowry. Westbrook into the front court. I got him. I Leads got him. up. Bucket. James to Westbrook. Quarter. Here comes the screen. Russell Westbrook steps into it. Yeah. Off the mark. He's made those before, but that was well defended. And that's how you close out on a shooter with a sense of urgency. The shooter was more worried about his landing space than he was the shot. It's DeRozan yeah. controlling the offense to James. Probing the defense. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Beyond DeMar DeRozan's game is his character. This is a guy who's become easy to root for. And it's been a character-building opportunity for him his entire life. I love the fact that Double D has used his platform to try to make a difference in expressing himself about his own dealings with mental depression. It's something other players need to do and to open the door for the likes of Kevin Love and also Kelly Oubre to talk about their issues to the public as well. Westbrook with the basketball. Exactly a minute to go here in the opening quarter. James to Towns. Leaving no doubt. Slams it down. Had a difficult first quarter. Couldn't really find his rhythm, but you got three more left to play. Wall into the front court. They trail by two. Oh, Aldridge up to block it. Sent a message on that one, Ed. New blood coming in for both sides. Oladipo. LBJ has it. Defensive. Oh, with the foul. And a chance coming up at the line. Guys like Gary Payton would always take ones early like this all the time. Number one, to see if they'll get caught. And number two, to leave a little mark on you to remind you that they'll be on you all game long. LeBron James at the line. First try at the right. line, Focus here. no one good. Time. One time, here we go. Oh, he missed on a pair. Into the front court comes hey, Wall. Lock up, lock up. They can go two for one if they hurry. Leonard to Porzingis. Shot in the lane, won't go. DeRozan That's with the basketball. Baby. Shot clock turned off as they get a chance to build their lead. Nothing going here on that drive. Marcus rejects it. That's his first of the game. And that's light work for a guy with his ability. That's all for this entertaining first quarter of the NBA All-Star Game. Jay and I return after this. You're watching a special presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. About to start the second quarter, both teams very productive offensively at the outset. Both teams are on fire, but speaking of competitive juices, one of the beautiful things that we heard during the timeout, in a team huddle, you heard multiple voices that weren't the coach saying how much more they needed to fight in order to win this game. Oh, trust me, the intensity level is going to pick up a couple of notches.
George to Harden. LeBron James won't go. He needs some luck on his side given how they're defending. I'm not sure that the contest on the shot contributed to the miss, but what it might have done is seep into the confidence of the shooter that the next time he might decide to try to drive to the rim instead of settling for a jump. Here we go. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Hey, watch the screen, man. Paul George to DeRozan. It's a big finish. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is pick true, up, pick up, pick but he's up. also finding his rhythm. Wall to Oladipo. Just Leonard. Up. He engulfed him that time. Shoot or shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Screen, I got Here comes help. the screen. Harden to Towns. Ah, the monster stuff. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. And Victor Oladipo, wide open look. He cashes in for three. You know, when I sit down and I think about it, it really blows my mind to how far Depot has came over the past three seasons. That first stop in Orlando, I remember watching a kid who had crazy talent and at times showed glimpses of brilliance, but also was really inconsistent. But in OKC, though, something changed, and it had to be the influence of Russell Westbrook. When you're around a dude that plays with 110% every day of the week, that has to push you mentally to levels that you never experienced before. That was the first time in his NBA career that he played meaningful basketball. Right. He played right. with a purpose. Now Come when I look at him, that's I see a refocus. I see the dedication to the game he loves. There's no doubt now that he is the leader of this franchise. Up, it's right. James. That no good off the mark. To Oladipo. Porzingis. Knock loose. That's going to be out of bounds off of George. No turnover as possession stays where it was. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Oladipo. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Fires the three, and he's fouled. A trip to the line coming up. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots each and every one of them. First free throw is good. Second of three is good. Perfect from the line. It's all three of them. James Harden at the controls. Screen coming. Here, come left, 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 left. Shot that's for James Harden. Wide open, one oh. won't go. I hate that that one didn't go down. You'd much rather go into half with a tie ball game than having the deficit. Here comes the screen. Great, great. No good. Defense catching a break there. It's because he took his eye off his target, Ed. As an offensive player, you have to glare at where the defender's coming to, so quickly redirect yourself to your actual target. He was more consumed with the defender than he was the actual rim. Here comes the screen to Oladipo. Has a chance? Yes, Victor Oladipo. He's two for two now. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his goal. DeRozan to Paul 
torch. Let's it fly from long range. Paul George can't get that one to go. Defense all over him. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. It's James Harden once again. Beyond the arc for three. Can't go down. Smothering defense. Throws it down. That's what I'm talking about. Nice finish. It's all business. Harden in possession. Now down six. DeRozan to Harden. DeRozan to Harden. Watch cutter, watch cutter, watch cutter. Back door, back door, back door. DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan. That's three now on four shots. DeMar DeRozan is a beast. He's been an all-star for the last five years, and he was a second-team All-NBA last year. But unfortunately, us as part of the media and the fans, we determine your legacy by you winning championships. He's still chasing them. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. Just wait a second, Ed. Wait one second. Can we go back to the play before this great play that we just saw? Just because you have a bad offensive possession, you can't allow that to go down and reciprocate itself on the defensive end. One bad play does not make two bad plays. You have to bounce back. That's how you play this game. And a putback slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. Now their head coach signals for a timeout. He'll get his guys together and talk things over. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. I got this play on, let's go. George to DeRozan. And too much contact. Welcome to New Age Basketball. You blow on me, that's a foul. Paul George. To Towns. Connect from in close. Wall with it up top. They lead it. Four point game. To Adeta Kumbo. Wall to Oladipo. That's my on the wing. I got this. Trying to cash in. Not going down for him this time. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. You forced his follow through to be cut short which made him short-arm the shot. Westbrook to George. Carl Anthony Towns. Terrific shooting. He's four for five. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Wall. Oh, Aaron Pass as it's taken away. Giannis Adetokounmpo able to recover with the block. That's his first of the game. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Oladipo to Wall. Adetokounmpo not getting the bounce. 
Westbrook into the front court. Down two. Listen deep, listen deep. To DeRozan. What's good, what's good? Doesn't have the touch. No good. Wall across the timeline. He'll run the offense to Adetokounmpo. Here comes the screen. Here it is. Adetokounmpo. Strong finish for Paul George. The pass was really good, but what I love most about the play, Ed, was that every player that ran in transition had active hands, which means they were active targets. They provided a target for the player to deliver the pass. That's how you work together as teammates. And he throws it down. Andre Drummond with the slam. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. I got ball, I got ball, I got ball. I'm here. I got him, I got ball, I got ball. Westbrook to Durant. The jumper's oh, off the mark. It's Ben Simmons uh -oh, controlling the offense. To Oladipo. Cleans it up. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. It's been a hard-fought battle so far. Let's get you to Orlando, where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen. Back to Ed and Jay to bring you the second half action. Giannis Draft. in control of the basketball. Leads four. To Wall. There it is, John Wall. He's 4 for 8. That's 50%. John Wall, the new modern-day athlete. He battled the knee injury last season and missed 41 go, contests go, after undergoing oh, arthroscopic surgery on that knee and still one of the fastest guys we have in the league today. Simmons brings the ball up court to Wall. Now ready to shoot at the line. I've seen it happen so many times. Small things like that foul can end up becoming a momentum changer. Let's see how this one plays out. Off the mark Side. on the first Side. free throw. Next time, next one, next one. Second one's good. Splits the pair. Easy layup. Westbrook across the timeline. The margin standing now at seven. Shot from the lane, won't go. My ball, my ball, my ball. Here's Leonard for two. Kawhi Leonard. He's now shooting five for seven. And there's nothing more mentally intimidating for your opponent than when your own teammates are unselfish and make sure that you get the ball because they want you to drop 70 on them, maybe like Devin Booker did last year. Hey, watch this screen Into the front court, it's Wall. The lead stands at nine. Deep two there, won't go. Oh, and a putback. Joel B looking to take his game to a completely different level after working out with one of the best trainers in the league this offseason. An all-star for the first time last year, averaging 23 points. Safe to say, no longer trust the process. Joel Embiid is the process.
West Cutter, West Cutter, West Cutter. Westbrook to Paul George. Off the mark. He loves the tough shots, but that one may be too tough. The most important thing a shooter can do is continue to shoot. The defense is always going to give great effort, but it's more of your psyche that goes into the next shot that will limit you on whether you make the shot or not. Giannis Adetokounmpo. Giannis Adetokounmpo. He's 3 of 5, 60% shooting from the field. This offseason was the summer of Giannis. He discovered so much about the American culture, even some of the sweets. And I see his game has gotten even sweeter. To Wall. <laughs> has a look. That's no good. Hard with it up top. The deficit now up to 13. To Westbrook. Short jumper won't fall. Great defense there, forcing the pickup. Plenty of contact. The shot, no good. Seems like a lot of contact on that play. If I were that player, I would pull the ref over to the side talk to him, express to him how much contact there was so he could look for that same foul call potentially the next time down the court. George. I did a Kumbo, the rebound. To Leonard. And finishes strong. Well, look, you can't be caught flat-footed on defense. You need to be on the balls of your feet, especially in transition. You have to jab at that guy with the ball, hedge at him, make him think that maybe you will take him. Maybe you'll fan out to a defender on the perimeter, but still keep him guessing. But when you don't do that, that's easy money. Anthony Davis. Quiet night, but two for three in the contest right now. AD, is he a new age big? Easy answer is yes. He is Mr. Versatility. He can do everything on both the offensive and the defensive three, end. Three. He can fight the post, battle for position. He can protect the rim. Plus, if you switch, he can guard guards on the perimeter. That's what you love about AD. You need something, he has an answer for. George to Aldridge. And look out. Big finish at the rim. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Adetokounmpo to Wall. Nothing going here on that drive. Wall to Simmons. No good. Mm, this game is all about the small victories, though. Uh -oh, the execution you know on that play was on point. You keep executing like that, those shots are going in eventually. Davis to Harden. Oh, good work to step in front. The pass taken away. You go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and screen second left, grade. It's called left, the shell drill. Left. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Now their head coach signals for a timeout. They'll regroup before the action continues. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Durant to Harden. Just slam inside. And when we start talking about some of the top players in the game, can we talk about the guy that got first team all NBA for the third time in four years? Can we talk about the guy who was the second leading scorer in the league last year with 28 points per night? Can we start mentioning AD's name with the best in the game starting now? Find to shoot. Wall to Leonard. Oladipo. Defensive foul to number 13, James Harden. That's his second personal foul. Team foul number two. Victor Oladipo at the line. First try, no good. Let me knock it down.
second of three. Knock that down. Got it. Knock that down. I like that. I like that. I like that. LeBron James with the rock. To Durant. To Davis. Down low. Using the post to his advantage there and the finish at the rim. This is why I go back into player mode. If the dude starts to try to have 40 points on me, I'm going to foul out. I'm going to start hitting him in places he's not used to being hit. I'm trying to do anything to throw him off his game. Oladipo. Shot off the mark. Good defense. Westbrook with it. His guys down 11. Durant to James. They go down to Davis. Joe oh, Embiid sends it away. That's his first of the game. This will be out of bounds off of Davis. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. And number six. Wall to Oladipo. Has a chance. Oladipo shot no good. DeRozan with it. Trailing by 11. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Take, take the Oladipo into the front court. Looking to make something happen. To Wall. 4-3. It's Westbrook with the rebound. Westbrook into the front court. Down 11 to James. Oh, he had him there for a second. LeBron James, not shaken for the early struggles. Maybe this is a sign of things to come. Jay, what makes LeBron so special on the offensive end? Well, first and foremost, look at that frame. 6'9", 265 pounds with the agilities of a guard. He can blow by you. If he dips that shoulder, there's no way. There is nobody in the NBA that can guard that man one-on-one. -on -one. Here comes the swing. Leonard. Not that time. He misses. Westbrook with the basketball. His guy's down by nine. To James. Going to one. Beyond the arc. It's good. And one. But did you see on that three-point shot, did you see him slightly kick his legs out? By kicking his legs out, the defender runs into the legs. There's contact. That's how you get a four-point play potentially. LeBron James with a chance at a four-point play. He struggled so far. And he missed the free throw. Wall in the front court. Up by six to Oladipo. To wall. Leonard. Now that's a contest. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. And he's fouled. Very close. Free throws coming up. The game is too tight for you to be taking risks like that. You want to avoid foul trouble at all costs. Russell Westbrook at the line. One counter. Oh, that's cash. And 
gets both to drop at the line. Now their head coach signals for a timeout. He'll gather the troops and talk things over. In watching John Wall, for him to be successful, you get the sense that he needs the ball in his hands most times. He does, Ed. And there's a new age in the NBA. It's called team basketball. You equate a guard's success to how his team does. And when they're all sharing the sugar, it makes the team that much better and more efficient. For a guard who's trying to break into the elite of the elite, he will not do so until he relinquishes some of that control and he gets other players involved. Into the front court comes Wall. Shot clock turned off as they try to extend the lead. Yes, Victor Oladipo. He's three for seven. Bread and butter. And there are a few that can do it better off the screen. Give me stairs. He's coming. Give me stairs. Let's go. Let's play deep. DeRozan. It's good. And the foul. And he's going to the line for a chance at a four-point play. Most definitely contact on that forearm during the follow-through. You have to give the offensive player a lot of credit. The concentration you need to make a shot after getting fouled, that's big time. DeMar DeRozan with a chance at a four-point play for his career, 82%. Three-pointer, and now a free throw on the trip. I got ball, I got ball, I got ball. D3 at the buzzer. Team Curry going to have the ball first as we start the fourth. We've got a one-possession game going on. This has the look of a race that's going down to the wire. And it looked that way from the very beginning. But this is where the coaches and the best players in the floor really earn their money down the stretch. It's game time. James to Harden. Gets it in the left corner. Kevin Durant lets it go. Knocks it down off the step back. Have we ever seen anyone like KD? Easy answer. No, he's hey, the greatest up, offensive threat we've ever seen in the game. He has a 7-5 wingspan, and he's doing things that Russell Westbrook does with the ball. We've never seen it before. Left. Watch that back door. And he's going to the line to shoot. I'm watching the coach's reaction right now, and I'll tell you, he's not going to be happy about that. The game comes down to the micro details. That wasn't a part of the plan right there. First one this goes down. Baby. to convert on both free throws. Oh, yeah, he's on your pass. It's DeRozan to get James. Down, get down, get down. Half court, head come, head come. Take stock of the floor. <laughs> the drive right to the basket. Almost, and he's not getting the call. I agree, I thought there was a foul, but also it's all about your approach. You can't come down the lane and jump off one leg. It's called a power lift. Go off two legs and expect the contact. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. James Harden 
at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 85% free throw shooter. Free throw up and good. Gives him a two-point lead. Oh, I like that. You got the defense rotating from side to side. They're even recovering late, but still, you got to make that one. Short jumper stays uh, out. The follow it. won't go either. Wall with it up top. His guys find themselves trailing by a bucket. Oh, highlight moves. Tough to pull off. The, the crossover gets inside and the slam dunk. No excuse to not be a little bit more physical there on the defensive end. Needed that stop. DeRozan to Harden. DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan at the line. He connects on the first free throw. Gets a second to go with one more to come. Yes, sir. Takes advantage of the foul. Oh, yeah. Three it's for three at the line. Man. Wall across the timeline. His guys down three. To Simmons. Hand up, hand up. Oh, ben Simmons. He struggled just a little bit. Two for five. This guy has posted 12 triple doubles in his first full rookie year. That's his second most by any rookie in NBA history while leading his team to the Eastern Conference Finals. But how about this? When's the last time we said the most effective player, maybe in the league, has a glaring weakness? He was all 11 from the three-point line for the entire year, did not make one three-point shot. And how about free throws? He shot 56% from the free throw line. You know who shot better? Dwight Howard and DeAndre Jordan. But, with all that being said, this young man still finds himself in a position to be one of the most dominant players in NBA history. Simmons with it. Down three. Wall to Love. Kevin Love. It's been a quiet night. Only three attempts, but he makes that one stick. You've heard it before. Slow and steady wins the race. This approach might be working out after all. Knocked loose. Wall to Oladipo. Nothing going here on that drive. Doesn't get the bounce. The follow won't go either. Russ at the controls. Trying to cash in. The Raven with a shot off the mark. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. Right, to DeRozan. To Westbrook. Durant to DeRozan from long range. DeMar DeRozan at the line. And hits the first free throw. Good shot, boy. Knocks down the second free throw.
knocks down all three at the line. Kyle Lowry with the rock who gonna, who gonna to it? Oladipo. Screen coming, screen coming. Here comes the screen. Oladipo to Porzingis. <laughs> Down to five on the 24, no, 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 and that'll touch, be out of bounds off of Oladipo. Westbrook into the front court, leads a bucket. Knocked loose, and that'll be out of bounds off of Oladipo, so possession will stay right where it is. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. DeRozan, James, buries it on the catch and shoot. And watching all these great shooters on the floor once, it almost mesmerizes me. It's like you're watching the shot in slow motion, the backspin, it gives off the feel that the ball's going in every time. Adeta Kunbo, and breaks it up. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in the playoff game, it will. James buries the three. He's too good to leave that open. Veteran move right there. Still blows my mind that this young man is 16 years in the NBA, has not had one bad injury, but more importantly, it's about the respect of the game. That's what LeBron James brings to the table when you think about basketball. You respect the game, you get the benefits. Oladipo to love. Off the mark. And a putback slam. You know, Ed, as a player when I was younger, there were certain guys that you just never went around on the court. You know, the ones that just threw those random back. elbows, smothered you with their physicality on the block? That's Andre Drummond, the guy who leads the league in rebounding. DeRozan, rebound love. To Adetokounmpo. Giannis Adetokounmpo. With that shot, he's five for eight. Giannis reminds me of Kevin Durant, and obviously their relationship has evolved even to the point where publicly KD gave him advice, and that was to play for himself. You think about the similarities, KD playing at OKC before he left for a bigger market in Golden State could be similar to the fate that of Giannis. But Giannis is a guy born of Nigerian parents, from Greece, loves small market towns, has a crack in his cell phone, likes to push his shopping cart down the aisle like anybody else. But it doesn't matter because the lights can shine bright for wherever Giannis decides to play. Bench LeBron up, up, into the front court. Up, up six. DeRozan. Collected by Drummond. Giannis with it up top. Looking to make something happen. Won't go down. Defender's lucky he wasn't called. Seems like a lot of contact on that play. If I were that player, I would pull the ref over to the side, talk to him, express to him how much contact there was so he could look for that same foul call potentially the next time down the court. James to DeRozan. <laughs> Has a look. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. He should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. DeMar DeRozan trying to cash in on a three-point play. He's perfect from the line so far. Free throw is good. It's a three-point play, and that just might put this game out of reach. Ben Simmons with the rock to Oladipo. Yo, clear out, clear out. Over to the right side. Wall, deep right corner. Here comes the screen. Hey, shot. Over deep ball, not that time. LeBron with it up top. It's a nine point lead. With the interception. Over deep ball to Drummond. The big fella, Andre Drummond. That's how it's done. He's four for four in the game.
A man down low on the block. Drummond is going to feast in and around the basket. His field goal attempts are limited, so don't expect him to be featured. But you better have a body on him at all times and limit second chance opportunities. Let me tell you why. He collects 26.2% of all misses. That puts him in elite conversation. Him and DeAndre Jordan are the first players ever to eclipse the 26% mark. And the only player to ever do that before in the NBA was Dennis Rodman. To Simmons. Owen Depot gets a look. Can't hit. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game. I got, got him. Report. I got him. Harden with go. the basketball. Here we go. The lead stands at nine. Short oh, jumper yeah. off the mark. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot, but there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Wall to MB. The West got the win in a close game. The All-Star Game MVP. DeMar DeRozan shined brightest at today's All-Star Game. You could tell he was having a lot of fun, and I was happy to see him get the MVP award. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose.